Hi, I'm Nairi. I'm running an adoption support channel. We're going to talk about trauma today and what it is. And I think the thing is, is that you hear the word trauma a lot related to adoption and foster care. And you can kind of say it a little bit glibly sometimes and think that you know what it is. And actually some of us might not, not know what it is. And there's no shame in that. So I want to try and talk about it in layman's terms, try and give you an idea and sort of explain to you what trauma really is and how it works. We can experience trauma of course you can have trauma after an event which you may have experienced before when you are in a situation where you suddenly freeze so say you see something really awful at that time and you see that really awful thing your brain stops thinking let me give you a silly example of it say you're very phobic of spiders you see a spider on the floor uh, nothing you're not going to be able to think about anything else other than that spider and your eyes are going to keep going back to it you're not going to be able to concentrate on anything else you're not going to be able to do anything else that's how trauma works in the immediate present when you are in a situation that is frightening you cannot think about anything else your whole brain just freezes now if you think about children that have been neglected and abused they will become fearful often over and over and over again or they will wonder where their next meal is coming from and that will cause anxiety and fear so children that have been living in a abused neglected environment will really be experiencing trauma on a daily basis probably more than one time a day and during that time of course their brain is going to shut down and not be able to process and develop over a period of time when they then come into a new environment unfortunately they cannot escape that trauma right away they are going to still be experiencing it in your home just because they've moved to a new home doesn't take it all away to start with so we need to be positive to start with it won't they will relive a lot of those things they've experienced they will also have situations when they're in your home when they get triggers and they don't even know why so you could just be sitting down for a meal and all of a sudden they might have a trigger which takes them back to that time and place and they can't even explain to you why a lot of children then struggle with emotional regulation around that so one of our sons will definitely uh, go off into a massive rage and this is because he can't emotionally regulate he can't really put his finger on what the triggers are but they're definitely there trauma really does impact the brain massively because it's a, a, t a frozen time in the brain and also produces triggers in the brain we're dealing with it on a daily basis with most of our children and even if the the household wasn't abusive and neglectful and they just had to leave their family in their home for whatever reason so there might have been bereavement in the family or they may have been voluntarily given up for whatever reason the trauma will then be that they're not in that family home anymore and they're not with the people that were caring for them and love them it affects the brain because the brain can stops making connections stops developing and growing because trauma is is because of fear because of rejection because of hurt because of bad things happening and so the brain stops developing and making the obvious connections that children will make and this is why sometimes children's development is behind because in those moments when they're in a trauma moment uh, they're not able to develop and so so therefore you you can find often that adopted children are further behind because they've had all those setbacks i have looked at trauma in my postgraduate diploma so i say i'm not an expert i'm not a therapist but i have had some experience of looking at language development connected with the brain connected with trauma and why language development is affected so guys i hope that gives you an idea of what it is that's just a layman's explanation but when people start banding on about trauma and you don't know what they're going on about i hope that helps thank you